is still strong. Amen. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Then I know that God is still <laughs> the child. Yellow, yellow. I, I was trying to think of that song, but I sure want that such a to say that God is still in child. Oh, right. yeah. But we know that God is still. And child, those of you that have your Bibles, go to Proverbs 3 chapter. Yes, he is. Fifth and sixth verse. And after you find that, then go to the 15th, I'm sorry, the 14th chapter of John. I want to thank God for a young man reading the footprints in the sand because it kind of lines up with my son. Sometimes we forget that when things are going rough in life, that Amen. God is still in charge. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, you might feel like you're by yourself. Oh, but God. Yeah. But God. Yeah. You better say that. Oh, say it. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you sir. <laughs> Amen. My God. The third chapter of Proverbs. Trust in the Lord. The fifth and sixth chapter reads, Trust in the Lord. <laughs> With all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. Yes. Verse 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, yes. and he shall direct thy path. Amen. Let's go to the 14th chapter of John. Oh, God. And it reads, Let not your heart be troubled. Yes, that's it. You believe in God, believe also Amen. in me. In my Father's house for many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Thank you may receive it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For a little while this morning, I want to talk about the values of the promises that Jesus made the value of the promises that Jesus made. Sometimes, as long as I've been preaching, there are things that come up that I am reluctant to talk about. Oh God. And, and so, I, I, this message is a message that should make you happy, but before I make you happy, I might make you mad. <laughs> because I want to share something with you. People all over are saying that Hillary lost to Trump. They are saying that Trump won. But let me share something with you. Hillary didn't lose and Trump didn't win. God won. Yep, Lord, speak, Lord. Here's where we are. If Hillary would have become president, within three years, this country would have went into World War III. Because first of all, Russia would not recognize her as a leader. Now, what I'm going to say, you're not going to really like. But I want you to search the history of America, how it came about. Mm -hmm. I'm not a bigamist, I'm not a chauvinist. I love women, I respect women. As long as they stay in their place, I'm gonna always respect them. And even if they get out of their place, sometimes I have to still respect them. But, there's nowhere in the history of America where you will find a woman involved in forming this country. Start in Genesis and read through Revelation. You will not find nowhere that God put a woman in charge. Now, I've heard a lot of lies come from the pulpit. They say that Deborah, the mother of Israel, led Barak in the battle. That's a lie. Let's read that way. Barry was the commander-in-chief of the army of Israel. 
Deprecy, I arose a mother in Israel through the Spirit of God. And Barak knew that she had the Spirit of God. And when he was called to take his army out, he told Deborah, if you go with me, I'll go. If you don't, I won't. She didn't lead him. She was with him to give him spiritual support that God would be with him. Come on, help All right, now. All right. But nowhere, everywhere in the Bible you saw a king fall down, it was because he listened to a woman. Now, 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 I'm not, I'm not down playing women. Women have no place hauling logs and digging trenches and carrying 50 caliber machines. Oh, wow. God didn't design it that way. You can make something if you want to, but the Bible won't stand true to his word. God didn't start it that way, and God is not going to let it end that way. All right, now. Men going to have to stand up Say that. and be counted as men. Say that. You're not going to be a man that's put on the street and act like some of the rest of them out there. Step on. Step on. Help me, Lord. Uh. Go on. Go on. Uh, mm. But the value okay. Okay. of the promises that Jesus made Speak is long. still binding. We're living in a world today where lying is accepted. All right. We don't find nothing wrong with people who can't keep a promise. They just say, well, they lied to me. They, 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 ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, I must admit that sometimes we make promises that we are unable to keep because of changes in circumstances. Sometimes the weather would change our circumstances. Sickness would change things. Death in the family would change things because of circumstances. Uh, <laughs> it's a boy. The teachings are good, but grandmama used to tell me good, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Yeah, yeah, I, my intentions might be ever so good, but if something happens, I can't keep my promise. All right. Yeah, we, we have to accept that sometimes things are beyond our control. All right, now. But my grandmother, I, you know, I, I have to just tell you about grandmother. She had a clause that she would put before every promise she made. She would say, if it's the Lord's will, and I, and I don't care what it was, she was promising you, she would press the Lord and let you know if it was the Lord's will. Pastor called me, because I hadn't heard it in a long time. He said, Lord, you're going to be able to preach something. I said, yeah. He said, say if it's the Lord's will. Say that. And I had to laugh because I know that's what my grandmother would have told me. And so, but right here in Vicksburg, her name had value. She could go to any store in the city, grocery store, clothing store, hardware store, and get anything she wanted with no money, just on her name. Well, there is a cliche that the young folk use now. They say a word is born. <laughs> well, let me help you with something. If, if you're going to use these cliches and proverbs, you should know what it means and how it came about. Well, uh, that, that cliche word is born. It started right after slavery was abolished when money uh, was tight and money was hard to get. If you were convicted of a simple crime and you had no money to pay your fine, uh, you had children at home to feed and uh, you had a job that you needed to go to, 
The judge would tell you if you didn't have the money, I'm going to let your word be your bond. Now, 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 if you didn't come back and continue to pay on that fine until you paid it out, they would come and get you. Yeah, they still do that, but uh, they didn't have bills, Bob. Uh, so they, uh, your word was your bond. Uh, but your word had to have some value. But I've learned from experience that you can't take everybody's word for what they say. That's That's it. It. That's there are some folks that will tell me more it's raining outside, but until I feel the rain drop, I won't believe it. Because I done found out your word ain't no good. Come on, help me. All right, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I found somebody's word the other day that I could put my trust in. Jesus. His name is Jesus. All right. Yeah, and I found out I can't put my trust in nobody else. Michael 7 and 5 in the Bible says, Trust not in a friend, and put no confidence in a guide. Solomon takes it a little bit further. Solomon says, Put no trust in a brother, not confidence in a guide. Yeah, 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 it might be your own brother, but brothers will let you down sometimes. Help you now, help you now. Well, I've read the Bible in the last 44 years from Genesis to Revelation. And I've not saw one word of God fail yet. He told Adam in the book of Genesis chapter 2, 16, of every tree in the garden, uh -huh. thou may freely eat. Yeah, but in verse 17 he says, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. He said, for in the day that thou eatest, thou shalt surely die. Did thou die? Well, God kept his promise. He told Noah to build an ark in a land where it didn't rain. Because he said, no, it's going to rain and destroy every living thing on earth. Well, the Bible said it took 120 years. But God kept his promise. But after the flood, uh, he made no another promise. That he would not destroy the world again by water. That's right. And every time it rained, God put a rainbow in the sky All right, now. to remind me that he's still keeping his promise. Come on, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. In other words, he made a covenant with Noah. And a covenant is nothing but a promise. There's one right there on the wall. That's a covenant. When we joined the church, pastor was teaching on the covenant the other day. Now back when I was pastoring, when we took members in, we would say, are you willing to be ruled and governed by the rules and regulations of this church? They would say, yes, sir. When you submit to that covenant, you are saying, yes, I'll come to Sunday school. Yes, I'll come to Bible class. Yes, I'll pay my time. You are making promises, not to the preacher, yes, God. but to God. You got it all my yeah, 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 you, you're making promises. Uh, a promise to follow and obey the rules that are set in the church. Yes, God. Now that's why you have to be careful with some churches because some churches have some rules there ain't no way in hell I would follow. All right, now. I, I'm not going to eat church to do because I, I know I'm not going to do what that preacher said to do. So it ain't no me me started. Well, there's another promise that men and women make. Yeah, all y'all know about this one when they get married. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them. Y'all heard. Do us some part. Yes, God. I made that 
that promise at 12 o'clock one night because I was leaving for Germany the next morning. <laughs> Had to get Reverend Burns out of bed. So, uh, yes, sir, well, I never believed in divorces, but when seven years later they they brought me some divorce paper, best papers I ever read in my life. <laughs> I wasn't dead, but God, I was free. I was singing like the people out of Alabama. Thank God, I'm, I'm free at last. Check out. But ah. Uh, Mm. I had so many people, and I, I, I had to come to grips with this. I said, well, we oh want you to marry us. I said, okay. Oh and we get to the council session, and I want to take them through the riches of the service. And I get to the part where the woman is so bad, there's a whole other we We wrote our own vows. I said, well, that's good. Now all you got to do is find you a preacher because I can't marry you. Because you see, the rituals that are in the original marriage sermon mm -hmm. are directly out of the Bible. It's not nothing that man made up. That's it. It's directly connected out of the Bible. And so when you tell me that you don't want to obey God's word, I'm not going to stand there and pronounce you Man and wife, I'm not going to be a part of your sin. Now, I didn't always have this much sin. I have been doing this over the years. Yeah, because uh, you marry them, and before the ink can dry on the marriage license, they're in the divorce court. All right, now. But as I get ready to close, I want to tell you, I found a man, Jesus, that was a promise keeper. And whatever he said yesterday still stands today. Amen. He said in Matthew 24 that if I have heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word will not pass away. I heard him say, I'll never leave you, now will I forsake you. Thank you. And I thank God I tell you. I've tried him and found out he stands on his promise. Amen. I heard him say, Lord, I'm with you always, even the, yeah. until the end of the world. So in, and I'm going on now, uh, oh God. the book of John, chapter 14, Jesus has already told his disciples, that he's getting ready to leave and go back to heaven. But he notices that their hearts are troubled and they don't really understand him leaving them alone. Mm. So he tells them, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah, Lord. You believe in God, believe, believe also, also in me. me. And I heard uh, him saying, uh, my father's house of many men. Yes, Lord. Please, Lord. If it were not so, I would have told you. Yeah, Lord. I think I ought to tell you, I've lived in uh, some pretty good houses All in my right. lifetime. But I have not yet lived in a mansion. <laughs> well, uh, and he said, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and uh, receive you unto myself. That where I am, that you may be also. And where I go away, you know. <laughs> but I heard uh, Thomas say, Lord, uh, we don't know uh, where you're going, and uh, we don't know the way. But I heard uh, Jesus said, I am, I am the way, uh, and I am the truth uh, and the light. No man come uh, to the Father but by me. Jesus. And uh, if you'd known me, uh, you would have known uh, my Father also. And I'm glad to see me. Uh, and I know uh, Jesus will uh, keep his promise. Yes, he will. But even though Jesus uh, kept all of his promises, uh, yes, sir. man. Uh, did not want to accept him. Yeah. And they decided uh, to 
to crucify him and take him out of life on Calvary. Yes, it is. One thirty evening, uh, they arrested him uh, and took him down a pile of coke room. Yes, Lord. All night long, uh, they whipped him up uh, and called him everything uh, but the Son of God. <clears throat> and early Friday morning, uh, early Friday they morning. took him out of uh, on Calvary, nailed him uh, to an old Roman cross, uh, hung him uh, between heaven and between hell. He hung there, and the Bible says from the sixth until the ninth hour, it got dark. But I heard uh, Jesus saying, the Father, Father forgive them, uh, they know not what they're doing. Uh, he died on Calvary. They took him down uh, and buried him in a barley tomb. Uh, and all night, Friday night, uh, he stayed in the grave. Uh, all day Saturday, he stayed in the grave. Uh, all night long, uh, Saturday, he stayed in the grave. Uh, but early uh, Sunday morning, uh, oh, Lord, uh, Lord, uh, he rolled uh, with all power. Forty days later, Abby rose from the grave. Uh, Five hundred uh, stood uh, and watched Jesus uh, as he ascended uh, back into heaven. Uh, and I heard uh, an angel said, uh, "You men uh, of Galilee, uh, why stand uh, you gazing uh, at Jesus the same way uh, you see him going?" Uh, Coming back again. Yes, yes. Uh, God, all right, oh, the God. I don't know when, uh, I don't know where, but one of these days, yes. Jesus Say that. is coming back. Yes, he yes, is. Yes, he, he said he's coming back for a church yes, he will. without a spot on the oh, yes, Lord. And I pray to God that you begin then yes, be that church Hallelujah. that he's coming back for. God bless you, God keep you, may have a smile upon you. I will.